It's been called the Oscars of advertising. Every year, the best of the media, marketing, and advertising industries come here to the south of France to compete for top industry awards and to get their creative juices flowing. We're talking about the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity. Cannes, France has no problem being in the spotlight. The coastal city on the French Riviera is probably best known for hosting A-list celebrities every year at the International Film Festival. In fact, it was the Cannes Film Festival that inspired a group of advertising contractors to create their own big industry event more than 60 years ago. They launched the International Advertising Film Festival in 1954, located not in Cannes, but Venice, Italy. And it was Venice that helped inspire the prize for the best advertising films, a lion trophy modeled by the Lion Monument in Piazza San Marco. Two years later, the festival moved to Cannes, and it alternated between the two cities until Cannes became its permanent home in 1984. In the 1990s, the festival started adding on seminars by experts in the industry. Panels now cover subjects from healthcare to innovation, but the festival still gives out those iconic lion statues. Today, Cannes Lions has evolved beyond ad agencies with tech companies and brands joining in too. Networking has become as important, if not more, than the awards. In numbers, last year's festival featured more than 16,000 attendees, 1,000 speakers, and 4,700 companies. 22 out of the world's 25 biggest brands by marketing expenditures will attend this year's festival. Take, for example, Procter & Gamble and Samsung, brands that account for around $20 billion in marketing every year combined. But this year, one of the world's biggest advertising companies, Publicis, made headlines when it said it would scale back its presence at the event. One of the reasons? It's too expensive. The cost for a complete pass to get access to the entire festival is more than 3,000 euros, or $3,700. And that's still over $1,000 less than last year. Critics say this has made Cannes a destination for the elite to show off their wealth. They say Cannes has become more about sipping rosé on a yacht than fostering creative business ideas. And that's why the owner of the festival, a British media company called Essential, has responded to cost concerns by lowering prices for passes. Can Lions brought in around $87 million in revenue for Essential in 2017. As the ad industry has evolved, Can Lions is trying to keep up with the changes. Organizers have added new categories of awards, and panels feature subjects ranging from blockchain to gender inclusivity. Meanwhile, new players are making waves on and off stage. This year, Google won Can Lions Creative Marketer of the Year Award. Not exactly who you'd think of when you think of a big advertising company, right? Around 30,000 entries for awards were received from 90 countries this year. Can said that's down from more than 40,000 last year, thanks to the publicist break and fewer available awards. But the numbers of brands like Adidas and Microsoft and of media owners like HBO submitting work is actually way up. Take a stroll along the Côte d'Azur here in France and the range of players is clear. From tech to media to advertising to consultancies, they all have one thing in common. They're competing for your eyeballs here at Cannes and for the money in your pocket. Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth here in Cannes. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out more of our CNBC Explains over here. If you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments section and subscribe to our channel while you're over there. See you later.